Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Mr. Coder, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do rectangle filling. Question B from Code Forces Round 941, Division 2. So basically you have a grid that's n, that's n by m, and it has white and black squares. And in one operation you can select any two squares of the same color, and color all squares in the subrectangle between them that color. So basically you can, so just say if we have this one, you can use this from here and here. So if you do here and here, then you can fill all of these with white because these two are the same color. So then it, you can change everything in here to white. So it doesn't impact the ones that are already white because the, the yeah. And you can also do it the other way too. So like if, since this one's black and this one's black, so then you can fill in this whole sub rectangle with black and then it and again the ones that are already black will still remain black so that's basically so that's basically the each operation that you can do so and then is it possible for all squares in the grid to be the same color after performing any number of operations and that includes zero zero is a number so then so you're given W and B standing for white and black. And then, so if we take a look at the sample, so this so this one, it, it isn't possible to change it because white, black, and you can't run any operations because there's nothing two of the same. But for this, for this one, that's basically what you have here. You can, you can do it because the, the, here's white, here's white. So that means because you have whites in the corners, so that means you can fill it all. And then for this one, it's already filled, so it's okay. This one is also already filled, so you don't even need to do any operations. And for this one, even though it's black and white, black and white in the corners, so you can't do it directly, but you can change one of the corners into a different color. So for example, you can change this black. You can change that one to white because you can change from this white to this white or you I mean this this white yeah you can change it from this white to this white which would cover the whole sub rectangle this b w and w b you can change all of that to white so that means this will this would not be white this would not be white and now you can fill it all but you can't do that here because there what there aren't any like there aren't any white here, so then you can like fill up this corner. There aren't any whites here, so you can fill up these two corners. And now after you notice that, like for example, for this one, it is possible because there's uh, there's black here and there's black here. So that means you can make this one black. And then since black occupied both of the corners, then you can just fill it. And so after thinking about it, you you can realize that if if they are the same color and you only and you only really need to check if the top left and bottom right because even if the top or top left and bottom right because even if you have the top right and bottom left like it'll, it'll still work for the algorithm that like I do even if it's even if they're not equal because so if we take this one for example like just say we do the black and white then there there will be a white here, there will be a white here. So then you can fill up these two with white. And then you can and then this corner is white. So you can change it. So then after after noticing, you either you either have the same in corners already, or you can change it, change them to the same, which means that if for this corner or for this corner, if you yeah, for for this corner, I mean, like if you if you can change it to white. That means that there would have to be a white on this column and a white on this row. So that's basically all you need to check. And then for the other corner, you check, is there a black in this column? Is there a black in this row? And that, because then you'd be able to change the corner. And if you can't change the corner, then it won't be possible to do it. So yeah, that's basically how you do it. So if, if you take a look at my code, so I first check if the top left and bottom right are the same. If they are, I can just print yes without having to worry. But I I actually don't need it because it would still work without. 
but yeah, I have four. I have four booleans, and that's to see if the. So I mean, for my a one and a two, that's to see if, like the, from the top left corner, like if I can do the row and column for b one and b two, is it if I can do the row and column from the bottom right? So then, I check if there's anything that's not the same color. And if it's not the same color, then I can switch it. So then I can just set it to true. And if e and if A1 and A2 are, then you can change that corner. Or if B1 and B2 are, then you can change that corner. So that so yeah. And then that would be yes. Otherwise, if that's not possible, then you can just print out no. So yeah, that's basically how you do this problem. And if you take a look at the samples, this is a sample, it gets no, yes, 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 no, yes, no. And that matches to the sample output for this problem. So yeah, if you if you like my video, you can feel free to go to the community and I have a poll there and that'll help me decide on what videos to make in the future. And I, I'm gonna keep making code forces solutions, but also well, when there's no code forces contest that I can do, I can also do videos about what, what you guys want. So yeah, if you liked my video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.